I've been trading for over five years and I've had my ups and downs trying to learn how to trade. In this video, I'm going to save you years of time trying to find a strategy by showing you the exact strategy that I use to make a living day trading full time. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So like I said, this is a strategy I trade the most when I'm trading personally. I make a living based off this strategy and you can really trade this on any single time frame. So what is this strategy called? It's basically pullback trading breakouts or break and retest. It involves identifying a stock that has experienced an up or downtrend and then waiting for a pullback in the opposite direction before entering a trade. The strategy allows traders to enter trades with a high risk to reward ratio as they are buying at a lower price in an uptrend or selling at a higher price in a downtrend than the most recent pivot. So essentially all the strategy is, is buying the first pullback after a breakout of high of day or low of day. Now let's talk about the risk to reward ratio of this strategy. When we're trading this, it's really important to understand that we want at least a one to two risk to reward ratio. This means if we even do lose two trades, we'll still be profitable if we win that third trade. And because of this, we only need a 40% win rate to actually be a profitable trader. How many traders think that you need 60% or above to be a profitable trader? But if your risk to reward is aligned with your strategy and your setup, then you really don't need that high of a win rate, right? So me personally, I aim for at least a one to two risk to reward ratio. Sometimes I'll get a one to three. Sometimes I'll even get a one to five. But most of the time I'll get around a one to three. But I try to aim for a minimum of a one to two risk to reward ratio when I'm trading the strategy. And because of this, I only need really a 40% win rate. There's three steps to trade this strategy. Number one is identifying market trend. This means you need to identify when the market is in an uptrend or a downtrend. You need to understand where the higher highs and higher lows are being put in. And based off of this, we can then trade based off our simple strategy. Now, number two, we only trade the high of day or low of day pullbacks. So because we're trading with a trend, we're not reversal trading. Therefore, we need to ensure that every single trade that we take, it's only high of day or low of day because there's a lot of buyers slash sellers sitting at high of day or low of day pivot points. And this is because there's a lot of orders around those levels. So when we do get a pullback to that previous high of day move, we will see buyers stepping in for the long side or sellers stepping in for the short side on that specific pivot level. And therefore the probability is with us more when we have more buyers or sellers moving the markets near those high of day or low of day pivot levels because we have more volume. Okay. Number three, you must enter the stock based off of the strong price action it has. So if we're going long on a stock, we really want those strong candlesticks present while we're trading. Now, if you guys haven't watched my previous video on how to read candlesticks and price action, it's really important you watch that video before you watch this one, because then you'll understand what indicates strong price action and therefore it'll be more beneficial for you when you are trading this strategy. And finally, this isn't a step, but it's really a criteria. We want at least a one to two risk to reward ratio on every single trade that we take. And this is in order to ensure that we do have the same risk every single time. This is because we know that we're going to risk a specific amount on every single trade. And therefore, our psychology won't be affected if we do lose trades because we already knew how much we were losing or willing to risk on that trade. So now that we understand how the setup works and what to look for, let's go look at real examples of this strategy. Here we are on a real example. Now, this strategy is simple and I want you guys to understand exactly what I'm doing. So let's play out this trade and see exactly what I would be looking for on a brand new day on SPY here. So as we can see, we're currently trending to the downside. However, there hasn't been a trend established just yet. We need either a lower high to be established or a lower low, vice versa. If we want to go long on this stock, we need a higher high or a higher low. So here we can see a lower low being established on SPY. However, as we can see, this previous pivot low just got taken out and now we just made a new high. Therefore, the trend actually switched to going long. So let's play out this trade and see exactly what happens. We're looking to, of course, only take trades on high of day or low of day, right? Those are the most profitable areas like we've talked about. And as we can see here, we're coming up near that high of day move and we just broke above high of day. Now, if we can get a nice retest on this high of day, that would be ideal. The next high of day we see here is 419.74. So this can also be used as a new high of day entry criteria if we do break above this rate for a pullback entry. What's crucial about this strategy is we are trading the pullback. We're not trading the breakout, so it's a little bit more of a higher win rate strategy. 
So let's keep playing this trade out. As we can see, we get another high. And right here, we can see on that previous high a day pullback, these two candles show that there's buyers coming in, right, with the hammer candle at first, and then a doji candle showing that the price is neutral, but we're on a previous high of day. So this is where we would enter the stock, right, because the trend on the day is still to the upside, right? So the number one thing we need to understand, trend, right, is to the upside, low, higher low, higher low, and now this is putting in another higher low. So the trend is to the upside, we're trading the pullback, we broke out of high of day. So those fit our criteria and so now what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for a long position we're going to buy our stock here and what we're looking for here is a risk to reward of at least two so we put our stop loss below that previous structure break and then we put our profit target at a risk to reward of two now for me personally i like to go for profit targets where there's whole psychological numbers involved and uh, here we see a whole psychological number at 421 so that's where i'm going to put my profit target on this specific trade and so that's a 2.19 risk to reward trade okay so let's play out this trade here we just created a new high of day all right and just like that we just got our new high of day at 421 and we also made $1,090 on this simple trade, right? Simple pullback strategy all the way up to a new high of day. So we're going to sell out our contracts there. And as we can see on the bottom right corner here, we made $1,090 on this simple trade. Now let's go look at one more example. Okay, here we are on another example on Tesla. As we can see, we see a low of day at 209.75. And we see a high of day currently being put in here at that at 213 10 level on tesla now one thing that i want you guys to notice is in between these levels we don't want to take a single trade this strategy is extremely simple because it works based off of the previous high of day and low of day pivot levels so in between this is really just noise and we don't want to take a trade or fomo or anything like that we want the stock to break in either direction and then have a nice pullback entry for us so we can trade with the trend and not fight it. Here we can see the momentum coming in for high of day. We break above high of day here. So what we want is a pullback here into 213 tens. And as we can see here, we just got that entry criteria, right? So once again, the trend is to the upside. We just created a new high. We created a new high and currently we're creating a new higher low. We have two really strong candles showing that buyers are entering into the stock here with that hammer candle being present on the stock. For our stop loss here, once again, we're going to put it below market structure. So, so I see a pivot level slash consolidation here at 211.94. We can put our stop loss there. And for our profit target, of course, we're going to be looking for whole psychological numbers plus ensuring that we have a risk to reward of at least two. And our profit target comes in here at 216, giving us a risk to reward of 2.04. And we're going to buy our trade here and we're going to let it play out from this level. Currently, we made new high of day, but we just couldn't break above it on this previous level. However, we're seeing a nice move and a continue in momentum, right? We see a nice low, a higher low here, another higher low, and we keep moving to the upside. We don't want to take any profits until we can break 216. And just like that, right, we broke at 216 at our profit target. We made a risk to reward of two points. And we made $2,613.70 on this simple trade. We're going to sell out at the position there. And that is $2,613 for this very simple trade by only trading pullbacks on new high of day or low of day. So I hope in this video, you guys see how simple a trading strategy can be to be a profitable trader. This trading strategy has allowed me to make consistent profits in the market as well. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I make videos every Tuesday and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video.